down to the crunch now last day before we leave things are sort of coming along we're actually a day behind schedule from when we wanted to leave um, this is tuesday morning we're just throwing the last pieces on the truck trying to hide stuff just to just to get it that it looks good to go down the road and get it to the show always behind schedule on these things that's part of the part of the fun Mike's in the process of cutting off some of the access material when he tried to install it there was just a little too much behind the door um, panel so he's trying to just nip enough uh, off it to make it fit. When I pull on that it's going to take all the threading off. The threading's glued right to the, the foam. Well, I only have to come up here. Oh, That's yeah. it. Okay. It's just the bottom part. As soon as you take the foam off, that's what your threads are attached to. And it'll de-thread all the way up the door. That's the part I didn't know about. I'll save this a bit. That might plus some foam out, might be enough. Don't want to go too deep. Wouldn't look good if we're already through the door, eh? How's your exam, Jess? We're gonna find out. Help? No, uh, still gotta do more, right? All that out. Even if we did what we said, it would still hit, wouldn't it? So I'm just overlapping it. That's it. It's hardly even overlapping it. If we would have stayed online, which we are here, it would still hit it then. But it's the front corner that it's hitting so bad. Materials to damn thick. Because the rubber gives, right? Yeah, rubber. It's that front corner. It's not giving. But it's not hitting the buckle, right? No, it's higher. That's not close enough for you, right? Well, it's only on the first latch. Did you try closing it with the insulation off? Or the paneling off? No, I didn't. No. Did you put all the buttons back yeah. on? Got the button, just the screws. Why don't you take the screws off again yeah. and try it? Just to see, maybe it's maybe it's the stopper that's in the wrong way. Not like when I put it together, I put it in wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just thought when I got here this morning, all the doors were shut. I know. But it couldn't have been all, might not have been all the way. I never, yeah. yeah. Cause you sh we shouldn't need to slam it. No, they were shutting so nice yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So them two girls that you're talking to at the bar? Yeah. When I buzzed, you know, you had your rash. Yeah, you bugger. <laughs> that wasn't good. No, I'm hoping this is what Phil said it was. That'd be real nice, but I don't think so. I think it's going to shut this real thing now. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? It is that thing. I think so. Yeah, because look. It's not going all the way. It's only latched once. <sighs> what happened? 
I think it's hitting the stainless, even the door part. What door part? Right the front corner, above the rubber. Right here? Right here? Yeah, here. No. Right oh. There. No, lower than that even. Lower? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But your rubber's on the... See, I thought the rubber would have took the thickness of... The, the rubber squishes right in. I know, but that, that stainless is only eighth of a... No, it closes. It's a lot of... Can't close like that, though. That's one. Two. Yeah, you could have done that before then, too. Not when you had the thing in. You couldn't hit the second latch. That's the first. That's where you're, where it's going right now. Right. That's the second, because there's two clicks on it, eh? Click, clip, clicks. <laughs> well, I think you could have right. done that with the other, with it on, though. No. You pushed that hard. You never pushed that hard. Yes, did I you? did. Okay. So between this, so you're saying this is hitting the bottom here? Sitting right here. You want to take these screws out, Mike? Robertson? And do what? Bang it in? No, I just take them out. Okay. He's working on the door anyway. When you're done the door, do you want to do the inside, Jeff? Just the dashboard, the, like, these panels here. Can it move? Yeah, I pulled it out. Hey, Eve. Yeah. Oh, Jesse. Yeah. Come here for a minute. That's all right. Like when I loosen this off, pull up on it. Okay, pull. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna start playing with the inside and on the, the last couple hours of build time. With everything coming ahead, we're running out of time, so Eric's just putting the speakers in place. When we get back from the show, we'll take it apart and wire them in properly. Silver. Okay, so the speakers up here are fine. Right on. Thanks. Okay. I didn't know if I was doing it right, but thought, hey, while the panel's down, let's do it and take a chance. As you can see with the panels of uh, the dash out and wires hanging, uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done before we can actually load the truck on the trailer and get going. Alrighty, let's see if we can do this without scratching the crap out of it. Yeah, it's just bundle it up and got to get going here. Yeah. Now it's that time of day that we just got to drop what we're doing, pull the back in the trailer and load up the truck and chain it down and go. Unfortunately, we won't have everything done, but you're better off showing up with something partially done than nothing at all.
What do you think, Jake? It's okay, I guess. I don't like the weight on the steps. I think they screwed up. <laughs> you know, I wish we would have had more time to get that bead rolled into the fenders. Would have that ever look good? Oh, same as you've got underneath the bottoms. Water back or back, Jimmy? Now with everything loaded up, off we go to Kentucky. It's uh, Tuesday at 7 p.m. We left roughly an hour ago. We're uh, finally on our way. I got a call from the organizers and they want us down there for tomorrow morning, which I hate to say it, it's not going to happen. We're still like, uh, I think about 18, it's an 18 hour drive, so it'll be a little later than tomorrow morning. Anyways, it's uh, snowing out, just around zero, and we're going to be heading into a pretty, pretty big snow belt here shortly, as soon as we cross the border to get the Great Lakes effects. So, should be interesting the way the wind is blowing coming out of the southeast. Never means good things. 